Everything is fundamentally a state of vibration, movement of energy. You know what? I'm okay with that. The universe is energy. Okay? Point two. Pay attention. Form follows consciousness. Where we direct our consciousness, we create a collapsing of the wave of potential into a fixed point of manifestation based on reweighting the probabilities of the possibilities. <laughs> Can anyone, put your hands up, explain to me what that meant? It was a string of words. And then point three, don't take this one too seriously, folks. The harder you try, the less likely you are to achieve the result. <laughs> now, <laughs> now this, is on, this is on the internet, so it must be true. So, I'd like to do an experiment. At the quantum level, we are all made up of light. Therefore, by shifting our consciousness, we allow for changes to occur at the level of light. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of us in the room. I'd like you all to shift your consciousness and attempt to turn the lights off in this room. Ready? <laughs> Concentrate. One, two, <coughs> remember we have to collapse the wave function of probabilities into the possibility of a probability. What? Um, <laughs> right, um, okay, right. Right, okay. These things, so it's this muppet here, this guy called Deepak Chakra. Now, let's, let's balance the argument. I live in a detached house in Dunfermline, and I can barely afford my mortgage. He is a multi-multi-millionaire and one of the world's best-selling authors. So perhaps I'm hugely incorrect. But from a scientific point of view, he came up with this idea that <coughs> mechanics can be used to heal us through the power of thought. Um, due to a complete and utter misunderstanding of quantum mechanics. Because, and the idea is this. This is the point I want to finish, sort of finish these lectures with. Just because it's confusing doesn't make it paranormal. It doesn't make it magical. It just makes it confusing. And if you look at this stuff online, you can come up with an awful lot of stuff. So here are some papers that I found. Okay? So papers that prove that quantum mechanics can explain homeopathy. Papers that explain something called frenetic quantum resonance. Um, medicine is correct. And this thing here called biofield science. Now this is a real peer-reviewed scientific paper. These are not. And the internet is filled with this. And this is what people are doing. Um, some biofield is a concept that, because we are basically made up of atoms and charges and stuff, we have an electromagnetic field and a magnetic field, and by interacting, and things in the biological sciences interact purely by electric and magnetic fields. It's a real science, and it's very, very real, and no one's arguing with that. But it sounds a little bit like you should um, go and hug a tree or something, um, and there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Um, and so people have used that as an idea, like this Deepak fuckwit, to say, I can make millions. And I object to that. I object to that as a scientist, okay? Because it's dangerous for people, and I think it's dangerous for lots of people. Now, I want to tell you my favorite one of all time. I heard about this about 10 years ago. Okay, right. It's called quantum bioresonance. Here's how it works. Let's say you have an addiction, okay? Let's say you're addicted to, I don't know, we're all in Scotland, so heroin. Let's keep it local, okay? So... So we've all, we're, all, we're all slaves to the junk, right? Now, um, but we've decided to clean ourselves up, right? And um, we were inspired by Ewan McGregor from Trainspawn. So, <laughs> someone laughed at that, yeah. Um, so here's how the Bicom device works, right? The people that invented this know quantum mechanics. And they know that all matter is described by a wave. So what they do... If you take the thing you're addicted to, heroin, obviously heroin addicts like giving away their junk to other people, um, you put it in this Bicom device, and what it does, it measures the wave function of that stuff. And then it inverts it and sends it back into your body. And through the law of interference, it cures your addiction. You're with me? It measures the wave function of your addiction, measures it, and sends it back into your body to cancel it out. I've shown this to several of my colleagues this week, including some very, very um, highly respected professors, and every single one of them said the same thing. Why is it in the junk? <laughs>
Every one of them, right? I'm not joking. I was like, that's not my point, professor. Do you think that's the wave function of something? And he's like, I don't know, it could be. I'm distracted by this. <laughs> that's a genuine conversation I had this morning. Um, it's just nonsense. Um, but people believe it. And the way that this device works is that people hold the electrons. Um, it, it nonsense. I'm going to finish very quickly because I realize I'm running out of time and you're probably getting a little bored. Um, um, I want to tell you about the wonderful, wonderful reality of quantum physics. So everything that I've spoken about and everything that I've tried to explain to you, what it's all about, 